All right, let's get into Terry, though. Terry, Mr. Terry. Terry, Terry. Burner from Florida State here. Bigger wide receiver on the Tyler Wallace. Anybody have his measurables? Oh, you, had, you have me first this time. You mixed it up. Yeah, sorry. Uh, he is six foot four, and I think he was 205, 210, something like that. All right, so go ahead and go back to that that first one here. So he's got A.J. Terrell on him, who was a first-round pick uh, by the Atlanta Falcons. So he's a very good corner. And overall in this game, Florida State got blitzed. Like, it was not a good game. Uh, Clemson, everything they did turned to gold. Uh, everything Florida State did did not turn out well. Um, but one, I, I like his feet off the line here. Now, this is not something he always does consistently. Um, so I want to clarify that. But I do like his feet off the line here. If you can start it back at the beginning. So here we go. One, two. That outside, he got him just enough to turn there to buy that outside, then crosses his face, uh, and he actually gets open here. Now, because of the fumbled snap and all of that, uh, it, it ends up being kind of a blown play. Uh, but but I was good with this route. He had a couple – he had a couple yards on him uh, right off the top for that slant and could have been a big play uh, had it not been that fumbled snap. I almost feel like he's still growing into his like body a little bit. Is. Like he's like kind of slow moving. Kind of like I told you this on the phone, Gary, but he kind of reminds me like a little bit of DK Metcalf in that way. I, I have no problem with that comp. So once again, against Clemson, this was really the only play that meant anything for Florida State in this entire game. <laughs> um, <laughs> and, and it's not right. even necessarily a particularly good route, a particularly good catch, um, but the Gary, raw – go ahead. Are, Gary, are you saying the superstars, Kim Akers, couldn't do anything all game? <laughs> wow, that's a surprise against I wasn't a good Akers opponent. Guy. You, you got to talk to you. Got to talk to our boy. I'm not. Wow, the that's weird. A, a superstar couldn't do anything <laughs> against any good team his whole career in college. Weird. Okay, sorry. No, and it's okay. And it's okay route. It's nothing special. Um, he gets inside, uh, but it's just a, a body catch where the the corner over pursues. But you just see the raw speed and athleticism there. I mean, that's something you you just can't teach, especially at that size. At six foot four, and he's well built too. He's not the scrawny uh, Isaiah Hodgins type. I mean, he's got he's got some good girth to him. So. Can you go back again? I can. I do have that ability. Thanks. Oh, it's not AJ Terrell. First off, but still, it's a not good on play. This one. Yeah, I was. I was. I want to watch eleven because eleven had the the running start here, and then we can see the speed. So eleven is. Oh Simmons. No, maybe it's not 11. I'm sorry. That whoever's trailing him there. Yeah. Well, he slows yeah. up a little bit too. Yeah, but it was just, it was because I mean, he had more of a running start to get Terry, and Terry just separated. That just, that's good transition he had. So, on to Miami. This was a both play for me. Um, so, good comes back to the ball, splits the defenders. You see, once again, the athleticism. I want to see him not get knocked out of bounds there, though. Mm -hmm. That was the frustrating part. And you could tell he was frustrated about that, too. Um, good play leading up to that point. Want to see him keep his feet, stay in bounds. Get your body into him. Like, he's, yep. little, he's way smaller than you. Yep. And that might be a little bit more of, like you guys said already, his body and not being able to, you know, grow into it yet. So his balance is off. Mm -hmm. Yep. Whew. Someone asked who's winning, Terry or Wallace, right now. <laughs> <laughs> Don't ask Nick that. He's predetermined. Well, predestined. What kidding. I've looked at it already. I know. All right. So they give him a lot of space here. Uh, scramble drill. And he goes up and over this guy. Now, it was a lower throw, so it wasn't like he went way up and over. Uh, but it was a good contested catch here because – Honestly, if I'm being completely objective, and I'm a Terry fan, for a guy of his size, I would like to see more of this, where he's making good contested catches, because there's not as much of it. Now, part of that is because he's so fast that there's not as much opportunity 
as there is for some other players. Or they just stall out on the offense. Right. It's it's not a good offense. But um, <laughs> good contesting catch going over the guy here. Yeah. The other angle here? Yeah, so, okay. yeah, watch the other angle. Well, I was going to mention that. Just, the oh, route's yeah. a little – stand straight up Yeah. before his corner, break. Corner jumped it. That's why Horny, Hornybrook's terrible first off. But Hornybrook couldn't throw it on time because he didn't get the separation. He, yeah, he didn't threaten him vertically. He knows he has help over top too, so he's sitting – what is this safety doing i have no idea why is he so far back and still backpedaling when there's no no threat vertical (laughs) said he knows he's got those wheels this was a really nice whip route um maybe one too many steps uh on the turn but for a guy of this size, because you mentioned DK Metcalf, and I think that is a good comp when we're looking at size and speed. He can't – DK Metcalf, I was never able to see him move this fluidly, especially in college. Um, I, What I saw – go ahead and keep it, keep it going. I really want to look at the whip part. Real smooth. I would like to see him get a little bit lower with his hips on that. I know it's tough for a guy that tall. But still, for a player that is that big – to be able to move that fluidly. Uh, and I still think, uh, Jared, I think you're right. I think he's still growing into his body. Uh, I was impressed with with seeing that that play there. So I'm just, um, I'm a little confused here. So he's faking him to come out, right? Mm-hmm. Uh, so his faking step off the line of scrimmage for this release, why would he want to threaten outside? Do you know what I mean? Which allows for a cleaner release inside sure. when the corner is trailing the area that he's trying to go because to. Because he's eventually coming back out anyway, is what right. you're saying. Right. No, I, I agree with you. And this is something when we when we talk about both of the guys together, um, Wallace is light years ahead of, of where Terry is as a technician, as a route runner, as all of these things. But there are things at six foot four with that type of speed. And the raw, smooth athleticism, like he's like we, we talked about DK, who's been he had a very successful rookie season. I don't think he's as fluid as as Terry is. I think Terry is a much more fluid athlete. There are things that he could do to improve, but his role on an offense, specifically speaking, because we're looking at for a fantasy football team. We're not necessarily looking for our NFL football teams on a fantasy football team. At any time, he can take one to the house. Like, at any time, he can take one to the house. But also, you just have a mismatch nightmare with somebody that's also that big with that type of speed. Uh, and I think he's he's got enough tools and he's growing enough. Because even – I went back and watched some of his, his uh, redshirt freshman year, and this was his redshirt sophomore year. Uh, some of the things that he improved on in his routes and things like that, like we said, there's a lot of room to still go. But I think all of the tools are in progress. And I think the raw size speed combination is just going to be really, really good things for fantasy football. Now, I have them like two wide receiver spots apart. So it's not like there's a drastic difference between the two. But if I'm on the clock, I'm taking Terry over Wallace. That's where I'm at right now, too. Basically, for all the same reasons you just stated. All right, Nick, convince us otherwise. Or well, is this I'm not going to wait till we get through all the theory. Um, is this you, you still, Garrett? No, this isn't me. This is not me. It must be me. <laughs> I for, dude, it's been a long week. It's been a long week. Um, Unless it's me. I don't know. But I'm, this, this Boise State game was sad, first of all, even though Boise State. Oh, this is you, Nick. Oh, is it? Yeah. I remember yeah. thinking, like, because we, all right, everybody were doing an NCAA 14 college football <laughs> Xbox Dynasty. Nick has Boise State. So when I saw him do this game, I was like, ah, I know why he wanted to yeah. see his. No, but his Boise players. came back. I mean, this is, I mean, because I, you know, I, people that don't know, I coached with Willie Taggart, Florida State's old head coach who got fired mid year. They were up big on this game early. Um, then ended up losing. It was just, it was sad. Fumbles, just it was bad. But this was good, I thought, for Terry. I was, I mean, to bad, move at that size. Yeah, to move at that size. Bad play by 26 the corner, not to maintain outside leverage. But after you get through that initial wave, he cut back inside. And I thought that was a pretty good play. Um, 
see right here, 26 should stay outside. It's a bad idea to cut inside. And that was basically what Terry's game was predicated on was, was making big plays. Because mm -hmm. you look at a lot of his games, it was three Great catches, block. two catches, four catches, five catches, two catches. You know, he didn't have a massive amount of catches, but he did a lot with his catches. And then right here was the big one. Like that, that right there, I mean, that was a bad defensive play, I think, more than a good offensive play. But right here, this cut here, I think, made the play. Yeah, great job of using his block. Mm -hmm. Right, this cut right here. Because he, eh, that's yeah. like, that goes from a 20-yard gain to what he had here at the touchdown, this cut. Oh, yeah, it ended up being, <laughs> what, 80 almost? Right. See ya. Peace. <laughs> Tyreek Hill. That's the picture I had at the beginning of the video. Oh, was it? Oh, yeah. So this is, you know, my issue here was he jumps unnecessarily. Um, I think he body catches it. I did notice he body catches a decent amount. Right. I mean, doesn't really threaten this 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 defender a whole lot but that's kind of maybe a little bit more tough to do when they give you so much room, but the deceleration part that that transition from vertical to coming back to the football, um, he needs to work on, although he does come back here, but yeah, just, he jumps for no reason here. And you're already six, four. <laughs> so yeah. that's more, that's more time. Pretty decent route ground. though. Honestly, it's not terrible. It gets, yeah. I'd like to see him sink. See, exactly, yeah. And that's part of the deceleration, I think. He needs to get used to that. But he yeah. has the transition to receiver or to runner quickly here. He has the idea to go outside. So I like mm -hmm. that part. All right, so this this year, this is late in the game. They need to make a play. And, you know, people will watch this play if you just play it, you know, fully again. They'll just be like, he's, okay, Bad throw, you know, maybe a better throw, you would have made a play. But he didn't convince this corner 100% at all he was going inside off of the release. And so th his lack of separation here. Well, do you guys remember we used to do Denzel Mims? We did his film. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. So Mims was so good off his release, he could stack a corner. Yeah. Watch his first step here. He goes inside and watch the corner not give any crap about it. Yeah, it wasn't much. You know, and so then, then the corner can push him outside. So now well, he has to release. his hips had already transitioned outside, even while he was making that step. Exactly. Yep. So now he's pushed further to the sideline. Corner can stay in his hip pocket. And it's a, it's you know Jer Jared knows as a quarterback that that's that's a tough ball to drop in that bucket out there, especially the other hash. All right, but if he would have came harder inside, like he did on that whip route for you, Garrett, where he faked outside and, and made the corner at least stay. He would have had a shot to stack him and make a play there. So, you know, those little things um, I see on film a lot. Yeah, him. he needs to clean that kind of stuff up for sure. Mm -hmm. He needs to tell a story. And this was, again, just consistently. Body catch. Doesn't body catch in. Come back to the football a little more. Don't win on it. Yeah, yeah it, wasn't, it, it, was, it was an okay route, not a great route. Yeah, like you said, I mean, this is late in the game again. They're just protecting that don't get beat deep. Yeah. Kind of giving up that underneath stuff. Yeah, so he needs to hands catch that one. And, and that would be another one. Why does it? Why isn't he whipping it out to the sideline there to transition to a runner when he need to make a play? He seemed pretty conservative. <laughs> Jay Mike. He, he likes that one. I, I love that you have, you have to tell a different story with your routes than what you're, you're actually going be an actor. Yeah, and it's every play, too. Mm -hmm. Nice job settling in that zone. Mm -hmm. Yep, I thought it was a pretty good play here. Because I, I think, I, I'm hoping, after he's right here, he recognizes that it's zone mm -hmm. and lets the quarterback back shoulder him here. I'm hoping that's that's what this is. Because he's still running, but he's not going full speed, you know? Yeah. He's like so, looking back. He wants the ball. Mm -hmm. That safety actually had, or not that safety. Who was that there? Whoever that was had a had a pretty good 
I think that's a cover six. Angle. Is that right, Jared? Yeah. yeah, that's what I was about to say. I think it is cover six. The linebacker playing the cloud. Yeah. <clears throat> See, I had positive plays in here, Garrett. <laughs> yeah, terrible route here. I mean, because, in, again, that deceleration issue, the corner just, he, he doesn't have to bail hard. No, he was able to close really quick on it. Yep, just stuck yep. in mud. I think yeah, he, uh, he can T step and he can drive to the football there, the corner. That's why, I mean, I think, yeah. Oh, actually, he does not catch this ball. He picks it off and returns out for a touchdown. I think that. I yeah. think they called that a touchdown. Uh, yeah. it, it cuts off. It didn't, it didn't, but yeah. I mean, we, it, there's no play after that from Florida. But the, but the but the other part of this too is, okay, you're six four. What do you say, two ten, Garrett? Is that right? I think that's what he is. Yeah. Two oh eight. Either way, when when he when he makes this reception, if you don't go back to just your hands are on it, you need to catch this. What do you right there? It's in it, and he loses that. That's a strength issue too. Um. I mean, I I can't think of any six four two ten guy that catches it and then makes a turn and then loses it. That's that's bad. So this is bad and good. Um I can't believe we held on to that. Yeah, great, great, you know, holding on to this is awesome. Um I thought the route could have used a little bit more work initially. He needs to settle here more. He's kind well, of he kind of drifts. It, it, And then initially his 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 stem. If you want to go to the other angle for me, yeah. So look at this corner. He knows inside. You know what I mean? Look where he's at inside right now. He needs to he needs to fake. Remember when Wallace would fake outside shoulder mm -hmm. that corner and then get him to widen. He needs to do that. And then the other part of this too. If you look from this angle, he does not come flat across. He drifts upfield into this defender. Yeah. So watch. Yeah, he, he starts outside here. the numbers, and he's working toward the inside shoulder here, mm. instead of working towards the outside shoulder. That's what you're saying, right? Well, he needs to threaten him because I mean the corner doesn't believe it. But then right here, look where he's breaking. Start at the 35, ends up at the 41, 42. If he came flat, he would have been in front of that defender. Yeah, maybe six. Is... And when he got hit, yeah, you know what I mean. Mm -hmm. Peace out, Kylo. Thanks for stopping by, brother. Well, someone says another body catch. Does he body catch this? Yeah, kind of. Yeah. I mean, it's, it's a great catch. Don't get me wrong, but there's there's just, he could have made that play so much better, in my opinion. Or easier. Right, easier. Yeah, not take a huge hit. This game he's <laughs> going easier. against top 10 pick, Henderson, cornerback. Good job using his hands, get him off him. And I just wanted to show this because of the – it's a big play. Body catch again, though. Um, just the speed. I, I thought he would outrun him here, but – You could get a good angle on that. that, that that's going to be an MA, right? I mean, so Henderson's playing outside and bracketing him into the safety. The safe, What's the safety, the safety. here? Oh, his eyes are in the backfield. Yeah, they run yeah, that. That's a, that's a safety issue. Wow, play okay. action. Yeah, I thought he did a nice job with his hands here, but uh, like you said, I mean, Henderson's just keeping outside. I, st I mean, st he still made the play. I was just, I'm like, why is that open in the middle? Right. Yeah, their, eyes, their eyes were in the backfield there because mm -hmm. of that superstar can't make her selling that fake. I got to pick it up here. Get tired. <laughs> What's, uh, what, what, what do you guys think? What did Henderson run the 40 in? Do we know? Mm, I can look real quick. Thought this was a really nice route here for him. Oh, Except man. he slows down. Four four six. Oh four, no, wait, six. no, that's that's the wrong guy. So good good fake here. Flashes his head back to the quarterback. Yeah. I say that yeah. repeatedly. I thought that was gonna be a dig. Yeah. Fool fooled me. It's a good route. He just he doesn't think he's getting the ball, so he slows down. If he doesn't do that, he this is six. But just oh, wow. the speed to catch up to that, though, like to almost get that. J. Mike Chuck says four three nine. Okay. And he had the angle too. 
Appreciate yeah, it, so Jay Mike. So, uh, what, so what we're saying, Terry, is probably what four, four, two then. I would. I wouldn't be surprised to see him run right in that same range right there. Okay. Um, so I depending think, on depending on the play, I think um, Terry's I've a seen four, three guy. High four three. I guess that's what we're just saying. Yeah, he's got he's got some he's got some long strides. Right. Well, but that's part of it too, though. Is that going to help him in the forty? Is he going to get out of those strides? Right, out of the break quick enough. Yeah. Or out of the blocks quick out enough. Out of the blocks. Yeah. I think he's a track guy, track background. Those guys typically. They know what they're doing on those straight line tests. Worst defense, ACC or Pac-12? I'm going to say uh, Big 12. I'm going to say Big 12 <laughs> probably, honestly. <laughs> I thought it was a bad route here, but good catch in traffic. Um, he needs to attack Henderson's outside like Nick's been preaching all night. Just drifts upfield then. Yeah, it doesn't come flat either. Yeah. yeah. Make it easier on yourself. He's just not – I mean, Garrett said while we were watching Wallace, you know, Wallace is two years ahead of him as far as technique goes. But Terry has that natural athletic ability that you can't teach, you know. So what are you looking for in a prospect? 6'4", 205, lightning fast, some, something you can work with really long. Show some – Decent traits, flashes every now and then. Can you get this guy in here? Make him a pro. It's football every day. Turn him into something. You know, that's that's stuff that they're gonna evaluate. And I think that's why I think Terry will probably get picked before Wallace. But they have a whole year of college to go. You know, absolutely. So uh, Ala Block has a good pointer. He said he's too busy thinking. And earlier he says he reminds me of someone that's thinking about their route instead of running their route, you know? Yeah. And I think, I think that's true. You know, I, I was trying to find it because I read an article on Tamori and Terry last year when I was kind of first digging into his tape. That's a good move. Um, yeah. Was- and I know he kind of came up in a rough background, but I, for some reason I thought he was a later to football guy, um, mm-hmm. but I'm, I'm having a hard time finding it now. Not sure. I'll see if I can find it. Yeah. Tweet that out if you or message me if you see it. I'd like to put yep. that in my notes. Um, oh, can you go back again to the start of this? So this is, again, just not knowing defense. So go back to the very beginning here. Okay, so this backer in the flat, if you want to circle, and can help out there. This, this backer is flying to the flat. So Terry's running... A stick route is what it looks like. Yeah. So he should hitch up in this hole instead of drift to the backer, but he drifts 100%. to the back. Every offense has that built in. Yeah. Sit right here. Sit down. You'd be right in that hole. Again, he catches it. I get that. But I mean, in the NFL, these openings are smaller. These are all little things. Yeah. So if it's zone, he sits. If it's man, he works outside here. But I thought it was a good, good uh, catch, good adjustment, good oh, football, good ball behind him. Um, mm. Yeah, it makes a nice move after the catch. He, he can move laterally better than most 6'4 guys. Mm-hmm. He needs to get on the ladder. <laughs> Hit up that footwork, King. <laughs> yeah, no kidding. Yeah, so this play started. I love that guy's Twitter. I look at it all the time. Dude, his Instagram's mm-hmm. fire, too. Just pure speed here, though. I mean, just burns the guy at the top of the route. Great ball. Dude, really watch, nice. watch this throw. He's getting hit. Like, what? A black man? Yeah. yeah. Wow. You're a black man? You don't see that very often. That's a... He's like jumping on that too. How does it get there? Yeah, I was I was amazed. That's a, that bear, that he, his hand gets hit right after he throws it. I know Damn. on the money. But look, but look at him. Look at Terry. Even in those last you know twenty yards, he gained a number. Now, granted, they're starting to slow up a little bit, but he right. gained another two or three yards as he's running down the field against those guys. Yeah. Can you go back from the beginning on this one. Mm-hmm. It's the the beginning is like cut off. It starts right there. Oh, does it? Yeah. Oh, right here. 
What? No, yeah. So no, it's here. Sorry, I, I see it now. Just the beginning. I just want him to lean in more. Yeah, give your quarterback more space. It's right there. He does. That's good. Yeah, and he looks back a little early. Mm -hmm. But but it's We're crazy. Right there, he looks here, back, but... and then he gets the separation. Another like three yards after he looks back, they both yeah. look back. That's that's so. Funny. These are basically opposite prospects. We got one guy, not a super. I mean, Tyler Wallace is a good athlete. He's not terrible, but he's very what, average athlete for a guy that's going to be drafted, I think. Yeah, and he's a little undersized. Not very physical either, but he's very good at catch point, good hands, very good, very good technique, and Terry's kind of the opposite. plucking the ball, I don't know that there's many guys better at plucking the ball in this class than than uh, Wallace. Bateman. But he, uh, maybe, yeah, Bateman, but Bateman's awesome. Yeah, Bateman's Bateman. <laughs> That was pretty good there. Yeah, good hands catch. Works what back. You... Thought it was a better route. Kind of presses the outside better. So there, there are times you see some of those. He just needs a good coach to help clean up some of the footwork and, and get a little more consistent in some of that. Um, and I think if he would drop his hips more, I think that would be a key to a lot mm -hmm. of those things. Dick's um, an extra step here. He should just there and be able to break inside. But he has to yeah, go. go. It's, yeah. a, it's a three-step. To get inside but yeah but i think there's enough it, it's not like watching him is gross it's not like he is no. only an athlete and there's nothing else to it there um i think there's there's some skills that you can see there, there's some work being put in and with the right technique the right coach the right system i think he i mean he could blossom he could absolutely blossom because i do think he's going to be one of those guys that wins the underwear olympics which we know only means so much, um, but I think teams are going to fall in love with him because of that. Um, and, and just the raw tape, I mean, he he makes plays. I mean, almost every game. I'm trying to remember what what it was. It was something to the extent of his average uh, yards <laughs> per catch on his touchdowns was like 40 yards this year. Like he just he just made a big play mm -hmm. on every single and and once once he gets in the open field, he's gone. You're you're not catching him so. Um, I just think there's a there's a lot of tools to work with there, and you know just even working with the hubris of a lot of coaches, they're gonna say they're gonna see this raw prospect and athleticism. I think they're gonna take him and and want to do something with it. Why didn't he declare? It's a really good question. I honestly was kind of surprised that he didn't declare. Um, there's a couple guys. I mean, there were some of the running backs too that I was surprised that that they didn't declare, but. Yeah, it's a it's a good question. I I truly don't know. He'll only be a redshirt junior, so he'll technically have another season on top of this mm -hmm. if he wanted to. I don't think he will. Um, but yeah, I, I honestly don't know, and I never heard a reasoning as to why. Hmm. Yeah, because I mean, he had a thousand yard a year. You know, he, he could, I mean, it's a mess of an offense, but he could have declared. Um, I mean, he's not as raw as like Martavis Bryant was coming out of Clemson, but people didn't expect as much out of Martavis. I actually liked him out of Clemson. Um, but for me, it's we see prospects like Tamari and Terry every year. There's always a guy that's uber athletic. You have some tools you want to work with. He has to develop. But how often do they really develop? I mean, you have Martavis did, Josh Gordon did. But there's a lot of them that just they fizzle out. They Stephen Hill it. They you know there's, and so to me, I don't know how often we can say, you know, it's worse at running back. I think you work learn more as a receiver in the NFL. Running backs, I mean, like it's kind of is what it is. Like are you gonna learn how to read a hole finally? You know, you didn't do that the first three and, years. and you don't get as much time to figure it out either. Right, right, yeah. So I mean, he'll have time. I I don't doubt that he could get drafted higher than Wallace. Um, he has tools. Uh, he's not. He's not bare there. But for me, all these little subtle things, you know, it could learn. It could not learn. And you know, I, I think we always bank on. Well, they're going to learn it. Well, not everybody learns it. And there's a That's reason, true. you know. True. And um, and I guess that that's why I would have Wallace higher than Terry because there's there's a lot of these little things of aiming point of routes, his hips, as we talked about, body catching. You know, all those little things that they add up. They add up more in the NFL than they do in college. Um, yeah, I, th I think I, I think that 
2020, if we have a season, is way more important for Tamari and Terry than it is for Tyler Wallace. Way more important. I'd agree with we're, that. We're going to find out well, if Wallace is coming off the stuff. ACL, though, too. So still, I, I don't, doesn't not, matter. today's world doesn't bother you, ACL. Well, but to me, it's either like Tom and Wallace can't walk anymore, <laughs> right? Or ver- versus Tamari and Terry figures out how to be a wide receiver. Yeah. But even, let, let's even say he, he only figures out some of the things that we hope he figures out. Mm-hmm. Like, is his floor now i mean his floor is he could bust out completely i get that but let's say like the you know not the ceiling not the floor the midpoint his midpoint to uh wallace's midpoint what where do you think those like where do you think those average out to because to me like if he doesn't improve a ton but he does in a few key areas uh i think he could absolutely be a big play receiver in the nfl that you know, could get 900 yards, a thousand yards and, and make some big, big, big plays, maybe a little inconsistent week to week. But I think like the average point for Wallace is, I don't know, like, uh, hopefully a PPR yards. monster. Well, how is it? I mean, a thousand or 900 yards cannot be an average for Tamari and Terry. It can't. That's, that's unbelievable. That's, not a ton of receivers even get a thousand yards. I mean, we had what, maybe eighteen last year? I mean, I'm rough enough top of my head. I mean, if if, if he's getting magic. taken where we think he would take get taken, kind of the midpoint expectation would be that he could develop. If you take a, a receiver in second round, which is kind of where I think he'll go, mm-hmm. wouldn't you kind of expect that guy like you would be fine with it if he turned into eight hundred yards to a thousand yard receiver, right? Wouldn't that be kind of like that, that would be the hope, yeah. Yeah, so it wouldn't be like overly exceeding expectations. That would be 1,200 yard receiver. You know, I'm just saying that's not the average receiver. for a raw guy. That's all I'm saying. Sure, I, I'm going. Maybe I'm not articulating it well, but kind of the what you would hope for them to be in the normal range of outcomes is kind of mm-hmm. what I'm talking about. Mm-hmm. Um, and I and I think that's the thing for me. Like I think Wallace would have to exceed my expectations to really be fantasy relevant. I mean, because I mean, I can see like best ball. I think tomorrow Ontario would be a better play if we just say just from that perspective. Sure, because like you're saying, the big play, the high yeah. risk, high reward type yeah. guys. Yep. Yeah. But again, we talked about this earlier. The NFL is not about big receivers, and they're about the separation guys, which is Wallace, and that's that's why I lean that way. I mean, if we're if you had to put a hundred dollars down right now, who has more yards in the NFL career? I think more of you would agree with me that it'd be Wallace, than that would be Terry. But if you want to shoot for ceiling. Then it's Terry, but so, I think it's a big risk. All three of us are Devi guys right now. If you're in a Devi draft, who are you taking before the other? I think you already uh, said Wallace. Yeah, I took uh, Wallace okay. in the draft that I paid money in, so <laughs> it's Wallace for me. Yeah, it would be it would be Terry for me, uh, and I think we're being a little bit nitpicky because I don't have them that far apart. My guess is you probably don't have them that far apart either, right? I don't know yet. I haven't, I haven't ranked them all yet. Let me pull mine up. Um, yeah, I, mean, I, think, I think I think. I mean, but but I think right now that's where I'm leaning. But I think this is a huge year for Terry. If sure. he doesn't develop any of those skills this year, it should be a concern. I would I would absolutely agree with that. Like if 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 all of those things that were concerns were not, he doesn't he doesn't look better at any of those things. Then yeah, I'm yeah. I'm with you. I would be concerned about that as well. And the other thing I will say is as much as I'm a big Tamori and Terry fan, I think the hype has caught up to how, how much I liked him and maybe even slightly exceeded it. So that's that's been the hard part for me is I actually haven't drafted him at all this year, not because I don't like him as a player, but now I'm starting to see him creep into the first round of Debbie drafts, and I'm not quite there. Even though I was a big fan – I drafted him a ton last year in the fourth round, the fifth round of a lot of drafts because I, I, I like him as a player and upside. But I do think the height has gotten maybe a tiny bit too high. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yep. I got Terry six and I got Wallace seven. So they're like right okay. there with each yep. other. Um, a good question over here on the side. Sorry, Jared, do you still have stuff with this? 
I was just going to say next week, just wanted to give everybody oh, yeah, a heads yeah, yeah. up. Next week we have another player coming on the stream to break down his mm-hmm. tape. Uh, we got Raymond Davis running back from Temple. Last year as a true freshman, he almost hit 1,000 yards. He had 936 yards, eight touchdowns. Um, a guy that you definitely want to pay attention to in deeper Devi leagues, uh, campus to Canton leagues, stuff like that. Um, yeah, so he's coming on. Got another guy. I'm excited. Very, mm-hmm. very good head on his shoulders. Um, it's it's going to be fun to, to pick his brain on mm-hmm. on his tape. Matt, Matt Bruning hooked us up with that that connection, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Shout out to Matt on that one. Yeah. Good work. Thank you for that. Yeah. 